we're going to be making potassium nitrate KNO3 in this video and we're going to use over-the-counter cold packs to do it some quick info potassium nitrate is naturally found in nature uh, I think I duplicated things there it's found in the ground especially in arid or dry climates and it's found in caves and caverns and this is likely due to the ground dripping it through into these areas in the 9th century which is the 800s the Chinese discovered that potassium nitrate sulfur and charcoal produced very hot flames by the 15th century good gunpowder was already known it was also known by this time how to make rockets pretty incredible and of course fireworks potassium nitrate is an excellent oxidizer really commonly known its melting point is 633.2 degrees Fahrenheit or 334 degrees Celsius it is found in pyrotechnics yeah explosives yeah matches and as a fertilizer up to 5% of the fertilizer sold in the world is potassium nitrate inside of these cold packs often you'll find calcium ammonium nitrate and you mix that with some water you get an endothermic reaction which is why they're in the cold packs when you mix this calcium ammonium nitrate hereafter known as can and potassium chloride salt substitute you get potassium nitrate it's a full reaction here you have your calcium nitrate and your ammonium nitrate also known as calcium ammonium nitrate they're a combined salt here that comes with 10 waters plus 11 KCl potassium chloride will give you 11 potassium nitrate plus the salts ammonia chloride and calcium chloride plus some water hopefully this is the largest uh, percentage of what ends up in these products here these two are what get in the way and we'll get rid of those as we go on with the experiment for our materials we need the calcium ammonia nitrate from the cold packs 196 grams potassium chloride 148 grams now if you are using salt substitutes be careful because nowadays KCL is not sold by itself very often it's often mixed with other things and we need water we'll start with 300 milliliters but we're we will reduce that amount as we go along in our methods in order to perform this double displacement reaction we're going to take a beaker fill it with 300 milliliters of distilled water and we're going to put our potassium chloride in there and heat it until it's all dissolved Once it's dissolved we're going to add our calcium ammonia nitrate and dissolve that in there also so both the potassium chloride and the can are dissolved in 300 milliliters of water and it's heated until everything's dissolved at this point you already have your potassium nitrate in solution and you put it into your freezer leave it in there for about two hours when you take it out it's going to look something like this i kind of missed a step here but it'll it'll look something like this with some water usually you'll get some nice looking potassium nitrate needle like uh, crystals some of them can be big one or two inches long when you get that uh, out of this freezer here you want to filter it and let drip through the solution and you want to save the solid the solid is going to be mostly potassium nitrate but in the mix of that will be some trapped ammonia chloride and calcium chloride down here you'll have mostly ammonia chloride and calcium chloride in the solution but there will be small amounts of potassium nitrate that you lose if you filter this you take the solids from up here mostly potassium nitrate and re-dissolve it in water I'm going to use between 200 and 250 milliliters this time when you do that you're going to have of course your potassium nitrate as the highest percentage and the ammonia chloride and calcium chloride as much lower percentages so it's going back in the freezer repeating this and doing a recrystallization every time we do this we purify the potassium nitrate and when we filter it we let through most of the calcium chloride and ammonia chloride but also a small amount of potassium nitrate so you get your largest yield if you don't recrystallize but your potassium nitrate won't be as pure when you recrystallize once twice which is what I'm planning on doing you'll end up with really pure potassium nitrate but not as much potassium nitrate to be really pure because at the end of all of this I plan on mixing it with some other things and trying it out as a flash powder if you wanted to as your very last step you could wash your crystals with warm denatured alcohol potassium nitrate is not soluble in it at all these are partially soluble it's probably an overkill especially if you do a double recrystallization but it's just a note okay enough chatting about this let's go and do it as ammonium nitrate has become more dangerous to sell a lot of cold packs have become calcium ammonium nitrate even urea used to be in them but it's hard to find so we're going to start with this of course to make our potassium nitrate i need to open these without breaking the water bag so i'll do that next and i'll be back 196 grams of calcium ammonium nitrate pre-weighed 148 grams of potassium chloride pre-weighed i'm just starting to heat the 300 milliliters of water i'll be mixing this by hand when i put the uh, potassium chloride in there 
start slowly adding the potassium chloride here. This will probably need to come close to a boil for it to all to completely dissolve. It's going to be pretty saturated. It's been about five minutes. Most of that has dissolved. I'm going to add the remaining here. Total of 148 grams of potassium chloride in 300 milliliters of water. It never came to a complete boil, but all the uh, potassium chloride is dissolved. I'm not sure why it's so cloudy, but I am going to start adding the calcium ammonium nitrate. Okay, I'll be back. This came to a nice boil. Uh, in here, of course, we have our potassium nitrate already formed. We also have ammonia chloride and calcium chloride that we'll get uh, rid of as we go on to the next steps of purifying the potassium nitrate. But what I noticed is there's quite a bit of sediment in there bouncing around, so I'm going to let this settle down. That's probably anti-caking agents. Um, let that fall to the bottom and then pour only the liquid into a new beaker. It took about a half hour for all the sediment to uh, settle there. I'm sure there's still a little bit in the liquid, but I'm now going to transfer the liquid over here to a brand new beaker very carefully. There are obviously the impurities, the chlorides that are still in there, and maybe some anti-caking stuff, but uh, I think I can get most of this over without bringing too much of the other stuff. Okay, while I was waiting for that sediment to filter out again, I decided to hot filter it. So that's what I did, and that's why it looks so clear. So next step is to chill this before we do a recrystallization, our first. And into the chill box it goes. I've been checking the temperature in here, and it's right now around 22, 23 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around five degrees Celsius. Look at that, but that's deceiving. Once we mix it up and filter it, you'll see there's still quite a bit of liquid in there. At these temperatures, most of the calcium and ammonia chloride are still uh, in solution here. But some of it will be trapped in these crystals, which is why we need to recrystallize, not just once, but twice. I didn't expect this, come on. These needle-like crystals you can see here, I'll bring it closer, are clearly potassium nitrate. There's more in here. I don't know how that happened halfway through the mix here, but they're there. Here's a close-up of some of those crystals I was talking about. You can see how they obviously look like needles. I got most of this out in here. There's just a little bit left. I'm not going to worry about it. Next, we need to boil some uh, water again, distilled water, and dissolve these crystals in it and do the same thing all over again. I'm gonna let this filter a little bit more here. So I just have over 200 milliliters of water here that just started boiling, which is fine to uh, put our filtered solid in it. Boy, this is pretty big here, actually. I'm doing it in a one liter because I want to make sure that uh, I can certainly work with the crystals. Well, there you go, that's one way to do it. Pull out this. When this is all dissolved, of course, it's gonna go right back into the chill box. It took about five minutes and went really quick, so I'm gonna move this now into the cold. It's been about an hour. It should be done. Let's take a look at this here. Oh, look at those. Some really nice needle-like potassium nitrate crystals. So I think what I'm gonna do is decant this um see if the crystals stay in there if they do i'm just gonna pour hot water in it and we'll recrystallize it one more time i decanted this and not a single crystal moved okay this came off of a different hot plate of course about the same amount 225 milliliters of water somewhere in there the amount of water obviously is not super important just enough to cover the crystals i'm gonna dissolve these one more time and from here i'm just gonna throw it in the freezer again so I might have left this in a little bit too long because most of the liquid is now water. Um, there might be some ice in here actually, but that's not a big deal. I'm just going to scrape this stuff off. Kind of messed up the crystals. I'm not worried about that. And 
And for our last part here, finally. Okay, that's it. Okay, most of the water's dripped through here. I'm gonna take this out, of course, and start to dry it now by putting it on some paper toweling there. All right, from here, I'm gonna put it on the uh, light bulb heater and we'll just wait until this stuff dries up. All right, a couple of paper towels later, it's drying up. I'm gonna lift it up now and put it on this light bulb heater here where it will remain until it dries. Okay, it's dry completely. It's crusty dry, actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off here. And what I'm gonna do right away is take some of this potassium nitrate, freshly made, put it in some aluminum. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of magnesium to this, about the same amount, probably. And let's try it out as a flash powder. Okay, I'm gonna light this uh, flash powder. Our fresh potassium nitrate's in there. Obviously, we've had a change in weather. Right. Pretty cool in the snow.